Hello everyone, welcome to in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to see the next problem on type 2b. So this is our question. So if you see here, we are given the limits already. So here we have the variable y. So this limits are of x. So this is nothing but x equal to this. So what is variable remaining? Variable remaining is y. So these are the limits of y. And I have told you whenever we have the variable in the limits, we will integrate this variable first. So this given integration is first with respect to x and second it is with respect to y. So let's say if we first integrate with respect to x, then if you see here, y will remain constant, then it is nothing but integration of log x square. What is integration of log x square? It is a very difficult integration. And after integrating, we will put x equal to this term. So we'll get log of root of a square minus y square. Then we integrate with respect to y. So again, this is very complex integration. So this integration is really very complex to solve. So but then we can make this integration simple by changing the Cartesian coordinates into polar coordinates. Okay, but before changing Cartesian coordinates into polar coordinates, what are these things representing? So consider the upper limit. Upper limit is x equal to root of a square minus y square. I am squaring both the sides. So I will get x square equal to a square minus y square. I am taking this minus y square here. So it will be x square plus y square equal to a square. What is this? This is nothing but equation of a circle whose center is origin and radius is a. Okay, so this is nothing but equation of circle. So we will draw one circle. So this is our circle whose radius is a. So this point is also a. This point is also a. Okay, so this is the circle. What is x equal to y cot b? We can take this cot b here. So it will be x upon cot b equal to y. Then we will get y equal to tan beta x. This equation, if you see, is similar to y equal to mx y equal to mx is a straight line passing through origin and the slope is m in our case slope is tan beta so this is nothing but straight line passing through origin so this line is nothing but y equal to tan beta x and this is equation of circle that is x square plus y square equal to a square so now if you see uh, these limits are representing uh, so first it is integration with respect to x so we will consider strip parallel to x axis so we have we should have considered strip parallel to y axis so this lower limit is this equation of line which is y equal to tan bx or x equal to cot beta and here we have the limits of x that is this limit and we are integrating this from 0 that is starting from this point till this point only so we have this is our region of interest so from this limits so from this limits you can say that this is the region of interest which we have to perform this integration but now as you see this integration is very difficult. We should convert this. So we should convert this Cartesian coordinate into polar coordinate. But before conversion, what is this point? This is a point of intersection of a line and a circle. So first we will find the point of intersection. So to find the point of intersection, we will equate line and a circle. So we put x equal to y cot beta or we will put y equal to tan beta x in this equation. So we get x square plus y square that is tan beta x square, which will be tan beta square into x square equal to a square. From this two, we can take x square common and inside we will get one plus tan beta square, which will be six square beta equal to a square. So I can take this x square here. So it will be x square one upon x square beta into a square, which is cos square beta into a square. If I take the roots, I will get x equal to plus minus a cos beta. So this is our value of x. So for each value of x, there is equivalent value of y. When we put x equal to a cos beta in this equation, I will get y equal to a sine beta tan beta is sine beta upon cos beta cos beta and cos beta will get cancelled and we will get this is one point of intersection. When we put x equal to minus a cos beta, we will get y equal to minus a sine beta. So this point is this point, which is on the third quadrant and this point is a cos beta comma a sin beta. So now if you see this y limit is going from this point till this point that is a sin beta. So our region of interest as I have told you is this part. So we will perform this integration only on this part. But before that we will convert our Cartesian coordinate into polar coordinate. 